For this step, I'm going to go over the different parts of your pasta maker. Now, every one is a little bit different, but this one is fairly standard, so we can assume yours is not going to vary too much. Of course, the top we have the feeder, and this is going to be where you put the pasta dough into it. If you're lucky, then your pasta maker will have storage inside for putting all of the different pieces. Within the pasta maker, you can see this is where the dough is going to go in once the feeder lid is on. And within that tube, we have a threaded screw. So this is going to have the pasta go through it. This, of course, will go in there. And then we also have the handle for turning the screw, which goes into the back. And one of the less glamorous but still important parts is a clamp. If your pasta maker has a clamp for you to stick in so that it fits on the counter edge, use it. I highly recommend using it because this is going to make making your pasta a little bit easier in case you're having problems with the pasta going through the machine. And then last but not least, we have the dies. This pasta maker comes with five different dies, and you can tell what type of pasta it's going to make by looking at the holes through which the pasta will be extruded. This, for instance, is going to make smaller, rounded, hollow pasta, so you can use this for making elbow macaroni. Other ones have a larger um, ridged pasta, so this you could use for making like rigatoni, and then smaller ribbed ones. Yet another larger ribbed one. And then finally, a this is not a circle one. You can see instead this is for making a twisty pasta. So this is one of the more interesting and fun ones to make. But all five of these give you a lot of different varieties to choose from for making your pasta.